It is midnight and all's well. Creatures that should be asleep are asleep, and those that should be awake are awake. But hold everything. Who's this? He shouldn't be here. He should be in bed. What's going on? Boss! Boss! It's me! I got him! Let me in! Shh, you idiot! Get in here and be quiet! I got him, boss! Look! More bolts and glue! And it's about time. Where did you go for them, China? Do you think it was a good idea to trade the boat for this? And why do we have to put wheels on it anyway? You'll find out soon enough. Now take these and get on with it. One of you get out and pull the cover over the front. We don't want anyone seeing us now. Okay, boss. Start the engines. Boss, it works. We're on our way. Of course it works. Everything I make works. <laughs> It sure is hot in here. Can I open a window? Ah, oh, no! Oh, okay. At last, we're here. And there they are. We'll just get a little closer. Aha! Hello, my little furry friends. Good. Very good. Right, men. Steady. Steady. Now, pull. It worked. We've caught dozens of them. Quick, prepare to pump out the water. OK, all the water's pumped out. Open it up! Beautiful! Beautiful! There's enough of them in there to make dozens of the finest expensive fur coats! We're rich men! Right, Sulfuric! Navigate us to some more fur coats! Sure, boss! Hey, Carbone! Steer 51 degrees north-northwest by 18 degrees east-southeast! To what? Turn right. Uh, why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, cut the chatter. Let's go. Down Periscope. Okay, Captain. By my reckoning, we should now be at the next big colony. Take her up. Up we go. Right, let's have a look around. You fool, Sulfuric. Get us out of here, you idiot. Okay, boss. New coordinates. Try 93 degrees east-southeast by 51 degrees north. Okay, otters, look out. That's not an otter. It's a duck. You don't get ducks floating around in the sea. Now try again, Captain Cook. Mm, now what have we here? Ah! Get out of here, quick! We're on a bombing range! Sulfuric, you've got one last chance. If you foul up this time, you'll be the first man to walk the plank underwater. Okay, boss. This is it. 48 degrees west by 48 degrees east. Aha! That's better. Okay, a full hold. Back to base. If you can find it. Hey, this sure is odd. We checked this area out only yesterday. And there were sea otters everywhere. Now a day later, and there's not one left. Hey, Bill, send a message to all other patrols in the area. 
Ask them to check out the other sea otter colonies. Patrol 15 to 27, come in, please. Receiving you, 15. This is 27. Go ahead, please. Yeah. How are all the otters in your area? Any problems? Over. Just one problem. They've all disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Tommy's cabin, nothing quite as exciting is happening. Hello, Wally B. Hello, Wally B. This is Bodega Bay calling. Hello, Bodega Bay. Yes, this is Wally. Go ahead, please. This is the California Marine Preservation Trust. My name is Tony Phillips. We have an emergency and we need all the help we can get. Over. Go ahead, sir. What's the problem? The problem is our sea otters. We have a few of the last colonies on the planet of these rare mammals. They were almost hunted to extinction by people who wanted to kill them for their beautiful fur. The hunting was made illegal and their numbers are increased, but now whole colonies are disappearing overnight and we don't know why. So we need urgent help to find out what's going on, over. Okay, Bodega Bay. I'm packing my bags now. We're on our way. What's the matter, Tommy? Anything wrong? I'll explain on the way to the airbase. We're going to California. California? Come on, Seabert. Prepare to unload the treasure. Look out! Uh, hurry up, you two. We haven't got all day. Okay, okay. We're going. I hope this is all worth the effort. Okay, boss. Open it up. Shh. Will you be quiet? Do you want the whole world to know what we're doing? Sorry, boss. I said be quiet. Okay. Start unloading. I'm ready when you are. And about time, too. Hooray! Hooray! We've done it! Come on, you two. We've got another trip to make. There's still a few more fur coats swimming around out there. Welcome to California, Tommy, Aura, and you, Seabert. This is Jack Rogers, our pilot. And I'm Tony Phillips. In you get. There's no time to lose. Now here's the plan, kids. We've set up a base camp for you. We have to move on to patrol the northern sector. So in the morning, after you've had a look around, report in and tell us if you found anything. Now goodbye and good luck. Come on, Aura. Let's get unpacked and have a look around this place. Siebert's already having a look around. He's heading for the ocean. He'll be all right. There's no one around here but us. The radio transmitter. We need it fast. Funny looking otter. Yeah, big one, isn't he? He'll be a fur coat all by himself. <laughs> Who's a fur coat? You pair of dummies. That's no otter. It's a seal. Hey, wait a minute. What's that it's got around its neck? An identification collar. This ain't no ordinary seal. This is Seabird! Blast it! There they are! Those kids are here as well! Sulfuric, dive! Let's get away from here! Uh, excuse me, boss. What? Uh, did you close the hatch? What hatch? That one! I 
got a great idea. Yeah, what? We radio for help. Uh, that's a great idea. No, it's not. Uh, why, why not? not? Cause we ain't got a radio. It's no good, Aura. He's gone. But where, Tommy? Where? Well, Tommy and Aura may not know where Seabird is, but we do. Far below at the bottom of the sea. Smoky, Carbon, and Sulfuric have gotten themselves into a whale of a mess. Deep in the forests, the otters are caged up with no food or water, forlorn and forgotten, just like our friends in the submarine, which is slowly filling with water. Tommy, look! There's something on the surface, just about where Seabird vanished. I see it. Hello, Bodega Bay? Wallaby to Bodega Bay! Mr. Phillips, come in, please! Over. Receiving you, Wally B. Mr. Phillips, we have an emergency. Seabird has vanished, and we found some strange wreckage in the water. It appears to be oil. Over. Jack, turn this thing around. The kids are on to something. Hold on, Aura. We're on our way back to you. In the meantime, get back to the beach. You may be in danger. Over. Boss, boss, we're all doomed. The only thing that could get us out of here now is... is... One of those torpedoes! What are we gonna do? The what torpedoes? Of course, this old sub has torpedoes! Well, so what? That's not going to help us at all. Boss, why are you smiling? Because, my long, thin friend, you have the great gift of being torpedo-shaped. Well, one thing's for certain, whatever you saw wasn't a whale. That's why we think there's someone else involved here. Hey, wait a minute. I spotted something down there on the beach. Tommy's right. Look, tire tracks leading down into the water. I'll take her down. They lead back into the forest. Let's get out and follow them. Good idea, Tommy. Here, take this. It's a flare gun. If you find anything or need help, fire a flare. Good luck. Hmm. Well, whatever made these trucks was very heavy. Look how deep they are. Tommy, look here. I found more. And look, there's seaweed also. Come on, let's see where they go. Tommy, look! It's a cage full of cats! Not cats, Aura. Sea, sea otters! otters. <laughs> boss! Boss! Please! Not me! I can't swim! I'll get my clothes wet! You won't get anything wet, and you won't need to swim. We'll be shutting you in, and it's got a motor. No, boss, please, not me. I'm too young to die. Ah, quit whining. Prepare to fire sulfuric, uh, I mean, torpedo number one. Boss, wait a minute. What if it hits anything? Oh, explode. Good luck, sulfuric. Get a boat and get us out of here. Fire! Done, you two. I think you've solved half the mystery. Stand back, everyone, while I let these poor guys out. They must be starving. Hooray! There, there they, they go. go. Like I said, Tommy, that's half the mystery. The other half is how did they get here? Aura, what's wrong? If those otters were left caged up to starve, what's happened to poor Seabird if he's been caught? Uh, do you think he made it, boss? Anyone could have done it. Easy as climbing a tree. Hey, where's that seal? Oh, <laughs> 
Boss, I found the seal. Siebert, come back here. That's an order. Hello, Otter. Otter? Hey, you kids. What are you doing here? A good question. Now, what's a good answer? Who are you guys? Cops? No, not cops. Although you will be meeting them in a short while. What do you mean? I ain't done nothing wrong. Oh, no? What are you doing here, then? I, uh, uh got lost back there, and, uh, uh, I ended up here. With the otters. Yeah, exactly. With the otters. Uh, otters? What otters? The otters that you trapped and caged up in here, ready to be killed for their fur. What are you talking about? We're talking about your prison rap, friend, unless you tell us who helped you. And where they are, and where the rest of the otters you poached are. Okay, oh, okay, I'll talk. Oh, it's Smokey and Carbone. They've got an old submarine which we've been using to trap the otters. But that's not all. The sub sunk with Smokey and Carbone on it. They're trapped and it's filling up with water. Sulfuric, have you seen Seabert? Hubert? Oh, the seal. Yeah, he's in there with them. And the last otter. Oh, no. Seabert. Come on, everybody. In the copter. You, Sulfuric, show us where the wreck is. How should I know? I wasn't exactly watching when I got out of there. Yeah. How come you escaped? Don't ask. It's too horrible to remember. Yes, there. See, Mr. Phillips? Oil and bubbles. That's where they must be. Good. When you kids mentioned oil, we thought it might have been a sub of some sort, so we called up the Navy. I'm hungry. Shut up. I'm thinking. So am I, boss. Uh, I think I'm hungry. The boss, I think we're in trouble. Thank you. I didn't know that. What was what? That scratching noise. Listen. Maybe the place has got mice. Whoa, boss! Now what? We're moving! Oh, really? Where are we going? Bermuda? We're going up! Look down there! What's happening? They're otters! A circle of otters! How strange! Tommy, jump into the sub. Here, take this ring. Help! Help! Get in the house! Sir, a 
believe these two belong to you. No, soldier, we don't want them or this. But I believe these gentlemen would like to ask a few questions. Well, Tommy, Aura, we got our orders back and the mystery's solved. So we've got nothing more to do here, but if you kids want a couple of days vacation sometime, we'll come and get you as soon as you radio in. So for now, goodbye. Now where's he gone? Ooh, Seabird. Oh, look, there he is. Everything is back to normal, for some more than others. But how long before animals are hunted by man somewhere else? Don't miss the next exciting episode of Seabird. <laughs>